Hello everybody and welcome to Septera Core. Now this is an older style game, JRPG style, deep story, the whole nine yards, but the animation is older, but Lord crisp. Doskius threatens heresy by his words, Emperor Aspertine. It is not heresy. The artifacts are meant to unlock the secrets of the core. Now that we have found them, we must use them. The discovery of the keys that Mato hid from us so long ago truly bestows a great responsibility upon we of the chosen Marduk's people. But the next conjunction is over fifty years from now, and only at that time can they be used. So it was made. So it has been for millennia. This being so, I remain puzzled, Lord Daskius. Why after so long? Must we expect that law to change? Perhaps our task should be to preserve the keys for the future generations that will be able to use them. Or does Doskius intend to bring like his the awesome most. power to bear and create his own conjunction? Watch your tongue, boy. I am the direct descendant of Marduk, son of the Creator. It is my destiny to fulfill his prophecy. If I have to step over your corpse to do so, like I did your father's, so be it. Why do you talk so easily of corpses? How many lives must be wasted to achieve your ends? I very much doubt that it was Marduk's intent. Yes, please. Tell us how you will collapse time and bring the future to the present. Enough! My plan will bring light to the core in days instead of decades. Know this, Emperor Aspertine. In the prophecies, Marduk teaches that one of his blood shall arise to fulfill his words. I am the one who was foretold. It is my destiny. I will not tolerate interference by cowards hiding behind the wooden shield of petty politics. The power of the core shall be mine. <laughs> he is a dangerous man. He may be of Marduk's blood, but bloodline does not make one great. But he will need the keys to fulfill his plan. Without them, he can do nothing. That is what we should fear. He will take them from us, if he has to start a holy war to do it. Gunnar, can I count on your fleet? As my father's before me. Then protect the relics. You must not let Doskius change the destiny of the world to meet his own whims. As you wish. You should come in and see Uncle. He asked about you today. Zero hope, Maya. I have to work on runner sensors next time. Promise. <laughs> I really do like him. What's up, Maya? I need to talk to Uncle. Is he here? Maybe. What's it worth to you? Uncle's in the other room, Maya. He'll be right back. Shut up, you traitor. You're cutting my profits here. Did you bring us anything from the junk piles? Not today, I'm afraid. Tori, are you causing trouble again? Uncle, while Grub and I were out junking today, we saw ships in the sky. They were definitely battleships of the Chosen heading east. Why are they here again? What are you so afraid of, Maya? They probably didn't even see you. It doesn't matter. The last time they came, when Maya was your age, battles between their own tribes happened here. I'm actually a little surprised that that video Mother! didn't play. Maya, we have to find shelter. Their ships strayed into our city, and many people died including your parents. Since then, we've been a city of orphans and elders. It took ten years to rebuild. We can't let that happen again. Whatever. I know. I know. You and Maya have taken care of us ever since. You can never let us forget. You're too young to really remember the devastation. As your teacher, Aziz, would say, history falls into cycles, my boy. Mayor, what's the meaning of this? Search the place. They're hiding in here somewhere. Good day, Uncle. Good day, Miss Maya. It's, it's a, a fine, fine day, day, isn't it? Yes. The fresh air would do wonders for you, Uncle. All right, all right, enough. We're not here to eat lunch. We're here to arrest smugglers. You'll find no lawbreakers amongst the junkers. I'm the mayor of this town, and I can do as I like. Someone is smuggling weapons from the junk piles to a city on the world show below. Now, their greed is going to get us all killed. This has gone too far. Get out of our house. Now! Oh, don't think this is over. Where there's trouble, it's always the junkers at the heart of it. Goodbye. Oh, shut up. Where did Tori go? 
I'm not sure. Probably to class. A place you are probably late for as well, Maya. Perhaps you can ask your teacher about these ships you saw. Now is when the game actually starts. Although, I am going into... Let's see, how do I get there? There we go. Hmm. Open the fridge. Thank you. Right, it's double click to run and no other way around it. Nothing else to really get here. And since I don't have a lot of money right off the hop, I'm going to be... going to the world map to show what it's like. And I will showcase some of the combat, because, well, why not? So this isn't quite to the world map, but this is you can get used to, though, in certain areas. So, for instance, you could, like... Downtown Oasis, Smelting Complex, Junk Keep, World Map. So you can go to different areas around here. You can search around and stuff. Sorry, Maya. No one may enter the work area today. All because the mayor is a jerk. So we have to go over here. New area. This area also has threats. He growled at me. Hey pussy pussy pussy. Combat. So when these lines fill up, I'll let it fill up all the way. You click on your character's face. And then you actually select a level. Obviously the higher up, the more damage it'll do. Or you can do quick hits in succession, which sometimes can actually deal more overall damage. Not entirely, but you get your attacks in quicker, you don't have to wait, and some enemies are faster than you. Bad puppy. I said bad puppy. Good thing you guys are weak for this stage of the game. Balance. Something games these days really don't have a lot of. Eat it. Now, I don't know how much health you actually have, so... I could be in trouble for my first fight, shouldn't I? As soon as I get rid of him, though, it'll be fine. Because if I don't kill him, and I kill those guys, he'll just keep summoning them in. Okay. Now it's a little dicey. think you can. Don't care.
Okay, come on, I really cannot go losing the first fight of the game. <laughs> One of the first fights of the game, that is just bad mojo right all over it. It's like way back in the day when you could actually rent games from a video store. If you died during the tutorial, you should just go and take the game back. Okay, I didn't realize how strong this guy was. I'm gonna risk it. I risked it. Okay, this is bad. Good thing I had a root. <laughs> oh, I'm doing so bad. Oh, this just goes to show you exactly what you do not do. You don't sit here and get overly cocky just because you know a game. Please just die. Thank you. Oh. Thank you for missing. Have a good day. Take that little bit to your face. And then take this little bit to your face. Suck it. So, after this fight, I am definitely running back to town and buying myself some more bread. Gained a level in all that, at least. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, we're going back to town. I screwed up. Ah, yes, the pathing was horrible in this game. You have to actually come to the right spot just to actually get in. Mary or jackass? Junk mail, let's see. Was it you? Hello, take your time. No, but she is the armor shop. Come on. Welcome. Look around. Here we go. So I got a little bit of money. Now, with the healing items in hand, can I actually buy anything from you? Or Hello, was I take stupid? your time. It's a little stupid. Not too bad. See, now we have these fun things. You can get Greaves, which boosts your armor a lot, or you can have your speed increased. I like to increase my speed so I can get my turns in faster. That's just how it goes. That's me, though. If you want to go solid defense, you can. And then if I'm not mistaken, if I go back up to Uncle's house, I should be able to rest in the bed. Uh, 
I thought so. some puppy ass. One level up made that much difference upon damage. Now the skins that I clicked a little bit quick past, and I apologize for that, those you just simply sell. Just valuable loot. Here we go. Smack you in the face. Now, this little space here, we're going to get to see soon. And you cannot get into fights out here. It's not that kind of random fighting as what would be in JRPGs. This is Aziz's temple. Very nice building, old-fashioned. And he is a teacher. And now we get to learn some stuff. You're late for class. And where's Tori out chasing coin again? He's not here. Well, let us start without him. Are you familiar with the legends of Mardu? Yes, he was the great hero who defeated Gemma with the help of the Seven Winds. You get ahead of yourself, child. You know the final scene without the benefit of the first act. Marduk is but one of the principal characters of the ancient stories. Together, they all rule the use of spells. As you know, a great energy and power emanates from the central core of Septera, harnessed from the rotation of the world shells themselves. This very power is used by the core to regulate the rotations of the shells, creating an eternal equilibrium. The excess energy is radiated out of the core into the world. We use this energy, called Core Power, to run our machinery and cast spells. To cast spells, one must use ancient relics, called Fate Cards, to draw Core Power. Each card is its own spell, but they can be combined to create varied effects. Up to three cards can be combined, each played by a different user, each adding its own power. If any more than three are aligned, then the power is lost. Fate cards are ruled by the demigods of our world called Fates. The first is Marduk, son of the Creator and Fate of War, who defeated Gemma in the Battle of the Seven Winds, banishing him to the pits of Janak. The second, Kira the Angel, Fate of the Heart, who helped Marduk with her light and became his queen. The third, Dogo the trickster, fate of cunning, who used his illusions to ensnare Gemma. And finally, Gemma himself, Lord of the Dark, and fate of demons, who ruled Septera in mockery of the Creator, soiling the Father's great work with the blood of his children. Each of the fates can be combined with any other, and once you find them, you can use the cards as many times as you wish. 
As long as you have enough core energy. You must practice this technique to learn the ways of magic. That is all for today's lesson. Do the ancient heroes still exist? Their power does, and it helps watch over and protect the world. Sometimes I feel as if my mother is watching over me. Pray she watches over us all, my child. And then you can actually ask multiple things. But you don't need to. It's just backstory, if anything. He doesn't open up any actual other dialogue options. Hello, puppy. So the card that he gave me... ...was a simple Hydro Attack card. Now, I'm not gonna use it right now, I'm gonna let it charge to level 3. Because I can't remember if that actually makes a difference on the fake cards or not. Like, I'm just in the beginning of the game, so my spells are not going to be worth anything. Plus, if I'm not mistaken, Maya's magic attack is not as great as some others. Because it is an RPG, after all. Yeah, I believe it's her psyche. So she is the main protagonist of this game, so she has balanced stats. So we're just going to hurry again, go talk to Uncle, and then I am going to save the game there. I have made it pretty close to the end. I have not actually beaten this game, so I'm hoping to move forward and beat it while on here anyways. I think I have to talk to Uncle and let him know that Tori was not at... Yeah, okay, so I was right to come back. Tori, where were you at lesson? Um, I had other plans. Uncle's gonna kill you. Not if you cover for me. Ugh. What a little brat. Tori wasn't in class today. What? He asked me to cover for him. You better find him, Maya. Do you think he's in trouble? Well, let's hope not. Uh, check the water pumping station. He usually hangs out there. So I'm going to rest to heal. And then we are going to save game. I'm going to save it over this one simply because. And that is where I am going to end it off. I hope you like these types of games. And I hope to see you in the future. Have a good one. And good night, because for me, I'm going to bed. <laughs>